Welcome to Specsizer. This is your get started guide to the tool. To get started, you can see all the available tools by clicking on Home on the top menu bar. You can choose from the Configure a Generator and View Inventory will take you to the Power Hub, where you can configure a bespoke generator set by selecting features specific for your project. You can also view available generator set stock or inventory in your local area. Please note, inventory and stock availability may vary depending on your location. Specsizer allows you to size a generator set for projects. Configure Paralleling. The Configure Paralleling module can help guide you to a suitable control solution for your installation. From a single transfer switch to fully customized paralleling switch gear. As Specsizer is our main tool, we are going to focus on this. Click Specsizer to get started. First, you'll be asked to create a project. Select either Create a new three-phase project or create a new single-phase project, depending on your application need. Single-phase is typically used in residential applications. Once you have selected your project type, you'll be taken to the Define Site Conditions page. You must enter a project name to continue to the next step, but this is the only mandatory piece of information required. We recommend that you check the rest of the project details, which are set based on your user preferences. Here you can change parameters such as fuel type, duty type, voltage, generator set emissions, maximum generator set loading. Once completed, save your project and select the Add Loads tab. Now it's time to add the loads you need for your project across the various step loads. You can select from a set of pre-configured load types, including standard motors, chiller, and UPS loads. You can hover over the load types to view a description of what it is. If you don't find a load you need, you can use the miscellaneous load. The miscellaneous load is used when the information on the load you are given does not easily fit in the standard load types. This could be a large custom motor or other project-specific load. To add load type to a step, simply drag and drop the loads into appropriate steps or left-click on the load and select what step to place the load in. After placing a load in a step, a load dialog box will appear on the right of the page. This is where you will put input values such as output rating, quantity, and any additional information. Once done, click Save. If you need help with the load types, Click on the question mark for more information on the load type and the various fields. Also, on any page, if you click Help in the top right corner and click Help with this page, then you will be able to access targeted support and training for the specific part of the tool that you are using. You can also copy loads within the same steps and copy loads across different steps by right-clicking on the load icon. For specific training on our load page, view the Using the Loads video, which will provide a detailed training guide of the loads page. Once you have added your loads, you can now view your recommended CAT generator set model by clicking Select Generator Set tab. The Select Generator Set tab is where you can select the appropriate generator set for your project. The tool will calculate the best fit generator set based on your specific load profile and provide the recommended generator set for the project. The recommended generator set will be initially highlighted in blue. You can customize this view to remove generator sets that don't meet your size requirements or remove columns that you do not find useful. Select the generator set you want by highlighting it in blue. If you select a different generator set to the spec sizer recommended one, then the spec sizer recommended one will appear in green. Now you can view drawings and spec sheets and guide specs for the selected model or request a quote from your local dealer. Some additional but useful tabs to be aware of are Engine Room Tools and Data and Reports. Engine Room Tools will help you perform some helpful calculations for the installation of the generator set that you have chosen in the Selected Generator Set page. You can use some or all the calculators in this section. The Data and Reports tab. 
This tab provides a summary of the project parameters, project loads, and selected generator set. You can print this summary in a PDF form. You can also download additional information on your product, such as installation drawings and spec sheets, and create a guide spec from this tab. This concludes our introduction to the tool. If you need support, contact your local CAT dealer or select Contact Support within the tool. To get started, visit specsizer.cat.com.